All right, for this demo, we're going to end up um, creating an opening door effect on Hover with ActionScript. So I'm going to create two doors here. So I have one PSD file for a left door. I'll just drag it into the library. And then a PSD file for a right door. Drag that in. So um, once I have those dragged into the library, I'm just going to be um, clicking and dragging in these left and right PSD files from the library. Um, but I'm going to make sure that I select the first keyframe on layer one down in my timeline here. So just select that and then drag left out. Nudge it a little bit. And then drag right out. And just like that. Okay, so I'm going to shift click both of these to move them both simultaneously into position. Alright, so what I'm going to do is then I'm going to select both of these objects um, and then I'm going to control click and convert to symbol. And then I'm just going to leave it as, uh, I'll just call it doors. Alright, so that is one solid symbol, both of these pieces now. Um, so uh, you can see that I am actually going to double click on this to go into the doors timeline. And so inside of the doors timeline, you can see our breadcrumb trail here. Scene one was where we were at. We double clicked onto the doors symbol. So now we're inside of the doors symbol. We still have one layer here. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually um, click on either uh, one of the doors again because now they're both selectable because I'm in that combined symbol and now I'm, uh, I'm able to select both of these pieces again. Um, so now what I have to do is actually when I click on this left door symbol and go into my properties palette, you're going to see it's now a graphic symbol again. So I'm going to have to control click that and convert this to a separate symbol. All right, so I'll call it left. All right, and then I'm gonna have to do the same for this right one here. So now this is gonna be needing to be a separate symbol because what I want to do is uh, um, actually animate these, and in order to do that, they have to be symbols with action script. So I'm gonna name that right. Um, so with both of these clicked, I can see my properties palette changed a little bit. Now it's a movie clip symbol, and then left is a movie clip symbol as well. Um, the only thing I have to do now is actually break these up onto their own layers. So uh, just to make it a little easier for myself. So I'm going to keep this left door at layer 1. So I'm going to call this left. And then this piece I'm going to uh, uh, create a new layer. So I'm going to actually copy. Uh, so I'm going to edit copy, edit cut. And then I'm going to go down here in my timeline and create a new layer. I'm going to call this right. And then make sure that my first frame is selected here on the right layer. And then I'm going to go edit, paste in place. So it's going to paste it exactly onto that right layer, uh, that right door. Um, so next what we have to do is actually animate each of these doors individually to kind of open. So here's the starting position, frame 1 for left. I'm going to go up to frame 20. I'm going to control click that. And I'm going to say insert keyframe. And so here it's going to insert a keyframe uh, uh, a position for the left door. All right. And then for the right door, I'm going to jump back to frame one and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to jump to frame one, see that it's in the right position for the beginning, go to frame 20, see that it's gone. So I have to insert a keyframe to put an exact copy of that over. And then what I'm going to do then is. Um, uh, see that it's there. So for the right door um, between frame 1 and frame 20 down here I'm just gonna want this door to open up this way off the screen. Alright so then that's the beginning and the end of uh, the right layer uh, for the right door frame uh, between 1 and 20. So for the left I want the left on, on frame 20 to appear just open as well. Uh, so here for both layers we'll have beginning and end. This is where it's going to happen. Uh, so then to fill in the tweens uh, frames it's just going to control click and create classic tween right here in the between uh, between both of these keyframes. Uh, so create classic tween there. So here's that door opening and closing within 
um, uh, this movie clip symbol. So I clicked on scene one and jumped out. You can see uh, scene one, my doors uh, movie clip um, that I have is actually now um, one solid piece. Again, double clicking inside of it, it has an animation within it stored in. Okay. So um, now what we want to do is actually control test this. And then here you're going to be able to see that this is what is happening. Basically, the doors are um, going from close to open um, in an infinite loop all the time. So uh, what I want to do then is make sure um, that inside of this doors movie clip symbol, um, I want this to have an action, which is to stop on frame one. Uh, the reason being is that I don't want it to go into a constant loop. I just want it to stop on frame one, go and then play out um, once I hover my mouse over it. So uh, what I'm going to do is click on the first um, uh, frame on any of the layers shown and then hit actions under window and then go to this double code snippets uh, layer here and then go um, over to timeline navigation drop down under the action script uh, folder and then just double click stop at this frame all right, so then once that's in, you can see that the actions layer up above here, you'll have a little letter A, and then you'll have an actions layer added in. Uh, so what we'll do is control test again, and now you can see that the door is completely closed, which is perfect. That's what we want to start this movie out. Next, what we want to do is be able to roll this mouse over either the left or right door and then have that um, kind of rollover effect open both of these doors simultaneously. Uh, so that's really easy. We'll just go to frame one here, and then we're going to click on, let's start with the left door first. And then so once we click on the left door, we're going to want to create a rollover property for that. Uh, so that we can, um, first what we're going to need to do is make sure this is clicked and then um, give it a name, an instance name here over the movie clip. This is a little bit different than uh, creating the other movie clip name we did. This is an instance uh, name. Uh, so this is going to be unique. I'll just call it left all and I'll keep it all lowercase. Okay, so left all lowercase there for the instance name. Um, that's good. So now I'm going to go over to Window and Actions again. Uh, press this Code Snippets button. And under Action Script again, what we're going to want to do this time is go under Event Handlers because we're going to define an event um, that's going to happen to this object um, with our mouse. So in this case, the mouse is going to uh, event is going to be the mouse over event. So the mouse over event, if I double click that. Um, we'll add all of this code just underneath that stop action that we have still on this uh, first layer, or I'm sorry, first frame of this animation. And now what it's telling us to do is um, it's saying left, which is that's the name of the, um, the object that we're mousing over, which is being defined right here as the mouse over event. And then um, the function is... Um, you know, basically our mouse is going over and then it's going to say here, start your custom code here. So what it's saying to do is really um, delete this piece here and then replace it with a go to and play action. So I have the go to and play code here um, and I'm just going to write it down. It's actually uh, go to and then capital A, lowercase n d capital P L A Y and then it's parenthesis parenthesis semicolon so that's all the code you need to type in except for one thing and that is between these two parentheses you're gonna say what frame you want the um, timeline to go to and play um, once the mouse is hovered over the left um, instance of the movie clip symbol for the left door. So that is frame two. So what this is saying essentially is that on the rollover of this left frame, um, I should, my timeline should move to frame two and then play out this animation and both these doors are gonna go open at the same time. So let's do a test. All right, so I'm over the right frame 
not, nothing's happening over the left and it actually opens up. If I roll out it's still moving so I'm gonna have to actually make a um, a stop action at the end of this movie too without it um, to prevent it from continuously rolling over and over and over again as my mouth is mouse is sitting on top of the left frame see how I can stop it at the end but once I kinda of roll over it just kinda of keeps going alright so I'll do that um, at the end but what I will do um, uh, now is actually create the rollover for the right frame. So I'm going to click on the right frame and then I'm going to again create an instance name of it. Just call it right. Make sure it's clicked on again. Um, go over to window actions then your carrots uh, symbol there uh, under action script. I'll go over to event handlers and then mouse over event. Double click that again so now I'm in the right place I know what's going on I'm just gonna copy this go to and play uh, code and then paste it down below here where it needs to go uh, again this is for that left um, button here this bit of code and this is that right button for this bit of code so um, again I just have to um, delete this trace mouse over thing this kind of placeholder that um, animate will put in there um, for you to replace with what um, code you actually want this to do in an action and then I'll just gonna do a final test for these rollover pieces get my mouse out of the way left is working okay right is working Okay. Um, now all we need to do is make sure that this thing stops and it's not kind of going over and over and over again um, when my mouse is over these frames. So what I'm going to do then is at the end of this movie clip, very simply, we're just going to click on the last frame uh, of, of where the timeline goes, which is frame 20 here. You can see nothing else exists beyond it. So I'm going to click just that top actions layer, or it can be any layer for that matter. Um, but I'm going to go to window... Uh, actions um, and then uh, here uh, what I'm going to do is then um, uh, uh, let's see go, go to the code snippets action script um, and then I'm going to uh, do uh, let's see timeline navigation double click stop at this frame all right and then what we should have here is test and then there we go so now we're done here uh, so now we can um, basically do whatever else we want for this uh, this piece so that's it